This video demonstrates the Analyze Pond command. It can be found from the Open Roads Modeling Workflow, Terrain tab, Analysis, Hydraulic, Analyze Pond. So first I'm just going to select the command and the first thing it asks for me to do is locate a terrain model. So I'll data point to select the terrain model and then now I get this dialog box up right here. The information grayed out here is the d information that this tool is going to give you. It's going to give you the volume of the pond, the depth, elevation, and the area. You can set different filters. If you check here to display all the ponds, it'll display all right here. You can see in these white dashed lines all of the ponds available according to what filter you have set. And then the feature definition is whenever you data point to place the the pond information, it'll place it according to this feature definition. So right now I have it to, to display all ponds. I do not have a pond filter set. And so as I'm dragging my cursor, it's saying no ponds found because no pond is even in this location. So if I hover over right here, there's a pond right here. You can see that it has a volume of 989 cubic feet, a depth of two and a half feet. There's the elevation in the area. And the elevation is going to be the high point of the pond, the top point, not the, not the bottom point. So I'm just going to data point to place it right there. And if I go to my element selection tool and select it, it's a 3D element line string. And right here, it gives the pond analysis information right here. So <clears throat> some other options for the pond filtering is you can filter by an area. So you can specify a minimum area and it'll find any pond that is greater than or equal to the area that you defined. You can also do it by a depth. So a minimum depth. So for example, I could set to one foot and it's going to go through and calculate only the ponds that would have at least a one foot or greater depth. And you can see there was one right here that was removed. So if I go back to no pond filtering and then hit apply, you can see it re it showed up right here again. So that's how you use the command. 